United Union International Officer Claire Baker. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, so lots of uh, developments, significant developments is um, uh, ongoing now about Turkey. The first one is the removal of Mr. Gergelolu's immunity in the Turkish parliament, followed immediately by a prosecutor's uh, lodging a case at the Constitutional Court for the closure of the HDP. Uh, this is uh, described as a coup by many others. Do you agree with that? And what is your comments on this? Um, what do you think Turkish state uh, is aiming? Um, yes, I, I, I agree. I think it is uh, basically a, uh, a coup on democracy and um, freedom in uh, Turkey. And I think the ultimate aim really is to annihilate any opposition at all to Erdogan's uh, rule. Um, and since the end of the uh, peace talks in 2015, and obviously the attempted coup against Erdogan in 2016, which the HDP actually condemned, we've seen this real sharp decline in democracy um, in Turkey, obviously culminating in the uh, hundreds of people that were arrested um, a little while back, and now this attempted ban and the arrest of um, and the immunity taken away from um, MPs. Um, I think, you know, this is a more, you know, it's, this is obviously devastating for Kurdish um, politicians, but it's devastating for Turkey's democracy as a whole. Um, what happens to the Kurds will spread out across all of civil society. And we've seen this happen already with, um, you know, the Turkey pulling out of the Istanbul Convention for the Protection of Women Against Violence. Um, so this is an attack on all women across Turkey and even actually all LGBT people across Turkey. So that repression of HDP um, MPs is is the beginning of further repression across the whole of um, society. And I think Erdogan is generally trying to uh, repress the Kurds, you know, politically, historically, culturally, in their language, in their homeland. Um, and crush their ideals. Um, but, you know, it's happened before to the Kurds, and I think, you know, um, they will rise again. If they're ban if HDP is banned, they will rise again and we'll be there to support them. What should be the response of human rights campaigners and Democrats, trade unions, politicians, MPs uh, in the rest of the world uh, about all these developments uh, about Turkey? Um, yeah, well, the approach of the international uh, community should be one of huge condemnation. Um, we should be seeing sanctions from the EU. We should be seeing the UK government uh, suspending the recent um, UK-Turkey trade deal. We should be Turkey. Uh, we should be seeing Turkey being thrown out of NATO. Um, but unfortunately, this does not happen. Um, Turkey is able to use its, you know, its geopolitical uh, position in the world. It's the its hold that it has over the EU, for example, with all the refugees that are in the country, um, to almost blackmail um, the international community to let them get away with whatever it is that they want. I mean, we have seen some condemnation. We've seen, obviously, the European um, Court for Human Rights uh, actually um, telling Turkey that they need to uh, set free uh, Selahattin Dimitash. We've seen uh, the European Parliament telling uh, Turkey that they need to withdraw from northern Syria. Um, and in the UK, we've got an old parliamentary group that's looking into human rights abuses um, in Turkey. Um, but it's not enough. And uh, the international community need to do more um, to hold Turkey to account. Another significant development is that the speculations on social media about the well-being of Kurdish leader Öcalan, uh, there are rumors that um, uh, about his uh, well-being, but no lawyer or uh, family members are allowed to visit him or get any sort of information uh, regarding uh, his uh, his uh, well-being. So uh, what is Turkey uh, trying to uh, achieve by isolating Öcalan and attacking to Kurdish uh, politicians very short, very briefly? Again, it's, you know, the isolation of Öcalan is an isolation of the Kurds 
completely an isolation of their ideas of their culture not letting you know keeping this rumor alive that you know he's that there's something wrong with his health or even that he's died is a way to uh punish and to have control over the kurdish community and you know we uh, we, as with a lot of um uh international voices are saying that you know his lawyers must be allowed to be um let into imrali and see erjalan and his family as well Dear Claire Baker, Unite the Union International Officer, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your comments today. Thanks very much.